All right, this is an attempt to diagnose and fix the salt cell. So this is what happens when we turn it on. No flow. So let's open it up and uh, see what we can figure out. Alright, so the uh, power at the board has been turned off. Um, here's what we have. Now we know from uh, nosaltpower.com that it could be the K1, which is right here. And it says K1 right next to it. Probably can't see it. Um, K1 right there, K1. And, or it could be this current limiter right here that might need to be replaced. So we're going to take the board off and see what it looks like. And before I do that, I'm going to snap some still pictures. Everything's pretty well labeled, but um, I want to make sure that I get it back in place correctly. Uh, and then the third thing it could be is this uh, mini um, fuse right here, and I bought some replacements of that. So I'll probably first try to replace this and see what happens, and then uh, then I'll take the board off and look at the K1 as well as the uh, current limiter. And um, if it's the K1 or the current limiter, I've never soldered before, so this will be a first attempt. So we'll see how difficult this actually will be. In preparation for this attempt to fix, I have bought um, a soldering iron here, a copper braid for unsoldering, and some solder stuff, and tw some 20 amp uh, mini ATO fuses. And that's the first attempt to replace the fuse, and we'll turn it back on and see what happens. Okay, the fuse is replaced. Here's the old fuse. Put in the new fuse. Had to use the uh, needle nose pliers to do it. And we're going to turn it on and see what happens. So there's your no flow light. see if we see any burnt connections on the K1 or on the current limiter. So we 
turn the power back off. So the board's off. This is the back of the board. And you can see here that this looks like it's the current limiter because it has a big burnt spot right there. Um, so we're going to try to unsolder that and resolder on a new one. Um, and I bought a new one at digikey.com. I'll have to post the part number later because I don't have it on top of my head. But we're going to take it inside and we're going to unsolder and resolder. So, as promised, um, the part number here is 5701062-ND. I got two current delimiters from uh, digikey.com um, that we're going to attempt to solder back onto these two burn points here. Just went on the internet and watched a video on ways to ways how to remove solder put on by some Russian guy who speaks really bad English and we're going to try to figure out how we do it. So I've got a piece of copper that's going to soak up the solder and we're going to remove that delimiter and then uh, put on a new one here. See how it goes. So in attempting to move the current delimiter um, it just crumbled in my hands, uh, which is a good sign that that is the problem. Um, so now I'm continue to try to unsolder um, using my copper braid um, here and um, try to get the new delimiter on. All right, after what about an hour and a half, two hours of pushing solder around. I finally got it uh, to clear these two holes and I can now install the uh, new current delimiter. Okay, we've resoldered. You can check out my horrible, horrible soldering job. But it's in there. And we're going to turn the pump on and see what happens. We got cell power. Now we're reading no flow and cell power. generating. Our amps are back up, 31, and before it was reading like 9. Salt reading hadn't come up yet, but I'm going to reset that and see what happens. Chlorinate and back to auto. We're off and back on auto. Oh, we're off now, sorry. Uh, that's auto. Oh, that's super chlorinate. check salt, but other than that, looks pretty good. I do need to add salt, so I'm going to add 2200 salt, so there you go. We got the salt out. So uh, I did have to uh, add salt and clean the salt cell, but uh, after that, you see it is working. Um, and it was well worth the uh, taking the chance to try to fix it. Um, so before you call the same guy who cleans your pool, to diagnose your uh, your uh, uh, chlorine generator, 
um, you know, you might want to try uh, to fix it yourself, particularly if it's out of warranty anyway. Um, you could save yourself hundreds of dollars by uh, trying to fix it yourself. And I've never fixed anything uh, electronic before, and I was able to do it. So give it a shot. Uh, hope this was helpful, and uh, good luck fixing your own salt cell and saving some money.